All right, so a gentleman, I think his name is Table Truth or something, um, made a video last week saying you can lie on your resume because hiring companies uh, never check. Um, a lot of HR and recruiting professionals responded back and told him about the risks of that, and so here was his response in which I guess he sort of took accountability and owned up for what he was saying was wrong, right? Let's watch together. Lie on your resume, swear to God, you works. Hiring departments do not double check. Check out the comment section and stitches of this video. <laughs> a lot of HR professionals trying to call me out saying like this doesn't work look here's this example of this person who had offers recipient completely missing the point that the person got offers in the first place do you think they would have been considered for the job if they didn't put those things on their resume in the first place it's only a small percentage the exception makes the rule okay i know plenty of people who are working in industries they have no experience in literally zero completely made all up oh double downing what a surprise. The biggest disappointment that I have about this content creator is that his heart was in the right place, and he's not 100% wrong, as I actually acknowledge, but you just have to know how to do it carefully. The system is set up for all of us to fail. It makes absolutely no sense. You need experience to get a job, and you need a job to get experience. So having a certain amount of dishonesty on your resume and on your LinkedIn is very, very common. You just have to be careful about what it is. As a perfect example, if I was applying to be an HR business partner, and they really wanted someone who was very familiar with Workday, but I hadn't worked with Workday, but I work with PeopleSoft, which is a very similar built HRIS system, I could potentially lie and float a little bit and be like, oh yeah, I'm really familiar with Workday. I could learn Workday in an hour. If I'm applying to a role as a benefits manager and I don't have specific experience in LOA administration, leave of absence administration, but I can research what uh, FMLA does and the different types of leave of absences that are protected by the states, I figure I could probably float by. The idea of expanding on things that you already know, the idea of understanding concepts that you may not have worked with specifically just yet, are all really fine and usually happen as it relates to hiring. The fact of what he said that most learning happens on the job is correct to a degree. And as many people are trying to point out, it's based completely on job title, job family, job family alignment, as well as industry, in which this gentleman absolutely knows nothing about. Him laughing almost in derision at HR people and recruiters who do this every day is demonstrative of his ignorance and inability to accept the fact that what he said was dangerous advice. The fact that people said, hey, just so you know, background checks do exist and do, they do check for this information, and his response was to make a mocking video back, demonstrates how little he actually cares about people getting a job. He just wants the attention. The fact of what he said that people got offered because of their resume and because of how they interviewed does not disqualify his original incorrect statement that companies do in fact double check. Basic concept being that no matter how good someone is of an interviewer or how much they lie on their resume, background checks occur and people get offers rescinded, meaning that his original statement was false. Him not acknowledging that and now trying to move the goalpost to a different topic or trying to somehow insult HR people and recruiters is more demonstrative of his lack of character.